Well, to be fair, this maybe isn't the most important shot, but one thing is for sure, this is the most common shot you will face on a pool table, no matter if you're playing 8-ball, 9-ball, 10-ball, and even straight pool. The shot I'm talking about is a shot where the object ball is relatively close to the rail and where your goal is to bring the cue ball out of the rail into a certain direction to get shape for the next ball. By the way, this is a drill we're going to play in a minute with my GoPro on, with live commentary, talking you through and of course showing you where exactly I'm hitting the cue ball. But before we're going to start, let me show you real quick how you have to play the shot. Well, if you don't have a lot of angle, like in this example, then you mostly have to work with low and high on the cue ball to bring the cue ball out of the rail. If you're having more angle, like in this example here, then the low and high won't be as effective and you have to use more left and right spin. And if you want to know why that is, then check my video when to use low and spin. Uh, the link is in the video description and in the top right of your screen. Okay, now let's start playing this drill with my GoPro on. I like to use this angle for my first shot and I'm actually going to use a combination of both low and right spin on the cue ball. And of course I need to hit at the right speed. So here a bit further would have been nice. So again, I'm going to use low right and this time I'm going to follow through a bit more the cue ball to keep that rotation on the cue ball. You can see now again a bit too far away, but this is exactly what this drill is teaching you to um, bring the cue ball with the right speed and the right angle out of the rail. So again, I have to hit a bit harder going to use low right again. And this time we recovered very, very well as you can see. So now we're perfectly in line again. I'm close to the four ball, which is always um, beneficial if you're a bit closer to the balls. So again, I'm not using a ton of right spin and low this time because I was so close. Here, um, I actually hit a bit too hard, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to always hit the rail. But of course, it would have been a lot better to be able to go into the rail because now I don't have uh, that many options, so I just want to draw back, get closer to that six ball. See, it didn't draw too much because um, I want to keep a nice angle on the six ball. Now, here I actually have to transition to that seven ball, so I'm playing the same shot, just harder, trying to go into the rail and end up with a nice angle on the seven ball. So again, you can see me playing a low right. And this was a bit too much. Now we are in real trouble on that seven ball because we always want to have angle. Now we have to get to that eight ball, which is horrible in this case. So I'm actually trying to cheat the pocket using a ton of right spin this time, trying to spin the cue ball up table. Well, let's go back real quick. You heard me saying I'm going to put maximum right spin on the cue ball and yes, the cue ball had a ton of spin on it. But when I was doing my pre-strokes, you couldn't really see me putting any spin on the cue ball. And this is actually a habit of mine, maybe even a bad habit, that I'm putting the initial spin that I want to add just on my final stroke. And that way it's a bit difficult to be honest with the GoPro. That's by the way where I'm also putting the cue ball indicator in the top right of your screen. So this is just a habit I was playing like that for such a long time. I actually know that Efren Reyes and Francisco Bustamante are doing it similar and there are a couple of more players who are doing it that way. But it's not textbook, I wouldn't recommend it. It will generate um, a couple of more variables. So don't do it my way, don't try to imitate me. I'm trying to fix it for you, for the GoPro view. So aim initially on the right spot on the cue ball. And now let's continue. And this turned out perfectly. If I'm not frozen to the rail, you can see the spin on the cue ball. So again, you want to have an angle, but you don't want to be frozen to the rail. So this was actually a great shot, but now we have to get position on it nine again. So I have to elevate, actually trying to just go to um, this side. So I'm not using many rails. So I'm just trying to stun the cue ball out, go down for the nine. That was close. But again, you can see we are in real trouble again. So this is all because we got out of line here on that seven ball. So now I need to play actually high right this time. So it's not the shot that we're trying to actually um, learn here in this drill, but let's see if I can actually accomplish it. So here, going to play right spin, 
take care of the deflection on the cue ball. And you can see, oh, we scratched. So let's do that one more time. You can see um, you always don't always accomplish to uh, perform those drills successfully. So need to put a bit more right spin on the cue ball. And here we have the shot. Now we're nicely on the 10 ball and now we can actually play the shot that we just tried to play. Going low right and using two or three rails. Just two rails. Cue ball should travel a bit more, which it did. So now I could again do the same, going to play it low right and this time I'm actually going to use three rails just to work on this type of shot. You can see now the cue ball is hitting that third rail and this is basically how you should play this drill. Um, I'm not sure if I should upload it like I did it here, but I think we're going to do this because missing is just human. By the way, you will now see every single shot that I was playing without the GoPro view. And just let's go back to the part of missing is human. Yes, you saw me missing that nine ball in this wreck. You saw me getting out of position. And I know some people complain if I leave stuff like that in and if I don't um, complete a drill in a textbook way for every single shot is textbook. But that's just how it is. Not every single of one of us, even the pro players, are able to make every single shot and all the time get pinpoint position. You just gotta do the best that you can to get out of this trouble and that's why I'm leaving that stuff in. And I don't wanna generate a wrong image of the perfect pool player that you always have to be perfect. That's just not how the game is. The game is so difficult that you just not able to make every single shot perfectly and you can see also this shot here that i just mentioned um, where i'm aiming to the right spot on the cue ball on my final stroke this is also a flaw that i'm having to that i have to improve so the key message is we all have our problems in pool and we just try to become a better player every day by practicing and so on but it doesn't always go textbook so don't worry, it's a progress and just enjoy the progress of becoming a better player. By the way, I have a very interesting video coming up. Um, I don't want to tell you too much, but it's exactly about um, the differences and being able to play your game, where I actually asked 10 professional players for the opinion on a certain shot, compared it with your answers. And this is going to be a really interesting video, but I have to hurry up. Now you will see um, the bonus clip after I made the last remaining ball. And then we have a quick outro. So thanks for watching and enjoy the bonus clip. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Today we have a new submission by Per Hagen from the Q Review channel Q Listings on YouTube. Let's see if we can beat the current record. Well, very well done. He started with a stop shot. This saves the most time. You can see now he has to wait really a long time for the cue ball to stop. The good news is here he just has to roll the cue ball in. And here he can play another perfect stop shot. You can see how he is running around the table. He's really hurrying up. Again, you can see uh, this is like uh, doing a marathon. Again, <laughs> going to the other side of the table. Just two balls left on the table. He's really in a good time. And if he makes the eight ball, he has a new record. Very well done. I'm really curious to see if anyone can beat that current record. Well done again, Para. I really noticed that my stroke was horribly off in this video, so I should probably work on my fundamentals as well in the future. But I hope you still learned something from this video and this drill about this certain type of shot. If so, consider to leave a like, thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. That's it for today, so thanks for watching guys. And as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.